Crew Season Podcast. We are back again. This is episode six. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God damn me. Kenny T is in the building. OT is in the building. What's good? Hey, y'all already know what the fuck it is, man. Smooth is in the motherfucking man, house. Man, can you wait for the goddamn Boom. applause? Fuck no, all, man. Man. I got my yeah. own intro, nigga. Boom. I might walk on motherfucking clouds these days, goddamn me. When you see me, don't breathe, Booties, bitch. Nigga. I can let you pass out. <laughs> and I am the Trill AC. We are crew season. Back again, man. It feels good to be back. Um, we got a lot to get into today. A lot to get into today. The timeline has been jumping. Yeah. Crazy. And it's been a relationship issue that has been jumping over, which falls right into our bag. Nigga can't play his part. We're going to get to it. <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith. Add, add the other nigga in there. Add his name. <laughs> don't, don't, don't keep him out. Jada Pinkett Smith <laughs> and August Alcina. Oh, my God. Before I even get into it, do y'all, do y'all have any, like, just immediate thoughts before I get into it? Man, look. Side niggas not supposed to tell. That nigga had the perfect part, bro. Just, 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 not supposed just to run tell. it so we can run it, man. Because I, man, <laughs> tired of these niggas, per- man. Then he came on. What, what was that show? He was the interview. He was on <sighs> uh, with uh, Angela Yee. Angela Yee had, had the mop hairstyle going on with the different colors. Oh man, that nigga was sent out. <sighs> See that? I can't. No. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was just so disappointed, man, because at the end of the day, when you got a perfect spot like that, all you got to do is come through and drop dick off, and you're going to be good to go. Bro, the man gave you his blessing. <laughs> you know how I many Allegedly. Man, the man gave you his <laughs> blessing. You can happily drop dick off in my wife. Bro, you just know how don't many, say nothing. You know how many niggas would have came through and act like they was the butler? What are you here for, sir? I don't. Hey, I'm just here to pick up, <laughs> up here to pick up mail, pick up trash, and all that shit. You know how many niggas wouldn't have said a goddamn word about none of that? Jada must got some fire, fire, fire. And she then got you top go notch, back, top quality, top and tell quality. you go back and t- tatter tell. Hey, he said he'd kill himself right now. Oh, man, said if I, okay, okay, wait, wait. Have, so he said he wouldn't kill himself. Let me wait. stop. Let me not say that. <laughs> On the, on the cool. But he Wait said a minute. He, he could die. Oh, my bad. Let Let's slow down. Before far. we get too deep into it, let me play the clip. Now, first of all, let me introduce the clip, right? For anybody who's unfamiliar, August Alcina has been missing from the scene for a while. How many years? Uh, I, mean, I can't remember when the last when the last hit was. That pussy in it put him in a coma. I mean, nigga disappeared off the earth. Shit. But Will Smith and Jada Pinkett allowed this man to move into their home because he was going through a lot. He's traumatized from his childhood. He had a rough upbringing. They wanted to bring him in, you know, help him sort things out mentally, get him on the right path. And somewhere along the line, him and Jada Pinkett formed some type of relationship, right? And we're going to get into his explanation of what that was. Bad thing to say about them. They are beautiful people. You know, when something starts affecting my life, um... And not only affecting my life, but affecting my wellness and my, my well-being and also starts to block my heart. My heart space is blocked. I don't really have a choice but to express my truth. I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation due to the transformation from their marriage to life partnership that they've spoken on several times. And it you know, not involving romanticism. Mm -hmm. He gave me his blessing. And I I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life, you know? And I truly and really, really deeply loved and have a ton of love for her. Um, I, I devoted myself to it. I gave my full self to it. So much so to the point that I can die right now and be okay with knowing that I truly gave myself to somebody. <laughs> okay, we're going to end it right there on that you note. give yourself to somebody that belongs to somebody else? Come on, bro. Mm. I mean, the weakest shit. Like, when, when y'all first heard the clip, what was the main part that stood out to y'all? This nigga snitching. This nigga don't know how to play his fucking role. This Shut your fucking mouth and be the perfect side nigga. If you want to see, you know what happened? You know how she cut that uh, relationship off? The nigga got too clingy. Mm. That's what it was. You he got know. too clingy. And she had to cut that shit off. 
You know or, what I'm saying? Or I think just before he maybe got clingy, she may have saw it and was like, okay, this is where we need to start, you know. Man, you can tell how soft that nigga bit. is, man. That nigga of got course. too clingy. And he got in his feelings. You know what I'm saying? And uh uh Jada and Will gotta understand it. Like if the shit get get too crazy, you know, we gotta cut Probably that shit so. off. Mm-hmm. And and they strict on that. And she cut that nigga off and he was ready to kill his goddamn self. Look at <laughs> Look at him. We might see him hanging some goddamn. Like, bro, oh, like, okay, just to provide a little context. Now, August Alcina, again, had a rough upbringing. This is a guy that, you know, lost his sister. This is a guy that, lost, you know what I'm saying? He didn't really have parental guidance coming up. He had to take in his nieces as his own child, you know, at a young age. We talking 18, 19 years old and then got rushed with fame. And so he had mental issues before he even came into this thing. So when Jada and Will took him in, the goal was to help him work through those things and give him some guidance, some parental guidance that he never had. What? So does that change your view of how he Hell handled the no. situation? Man, yeah. I know people in my family right now, right goddamn now, had to take care of kids when they was goddamn 16, 17. Goddamn me. Because either their parents was gone or their parents won, won shit. And they motherfucking ass is right. They knew right from wrong. They, you know what I'm saying? You got to pick your big boy pants up, goddamn me. And these is women doing that. And you a man acting like nigga man up. It's your fool ass. Man, I ain't trying to hear that soft ass shit. I got, yeah, you know, yeah, no Christian man. I, I, nigga, in your music, you sound like you're right. What happened? What happened? That was all a facade. Come on, man, stop, man. Get out, escape that deal, man. <laughs> now, man see, that- Jada shouldn't even count that body. <laughs> Take that shit back, man. Now look, now look. So basically, Jada and Will done had a rumored open marriage for years. Life what that partners. entails is, yeah, life partners, which means that. You know, I do my thing, you do your thing, but we ain't getting a divorce. How do y'all feel about that idea of a relationship? Man, that's they, hey, that's, hey, for that's, them, that's a cool relationship. That's a for cool me, relationship. it wouldn't work. For me, it would never work. I feel like that that takes like the ultimate. That's trust. That's ultimate transparency. That's ultimate everything. Everything. And if that's what worked for them, I mean, you get what I'm saying. If, if different strokes for different folks. But then you get shit like this on yeah. with these side niggas, man. You ain't see real uh, chicks come out the woodwork <laughs> snitching and telling and and God, I'm not, 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 not. play your role, man. Jada pussy on a different level. Man, stop it, man. Will ain't That's throwing right out. He ain't slapping dick like Jada pussy is. Jada no, pussy no, no, no. You know what? You know what the reason? You know? You know what the thing is? They know. Hey, if I if I stay on the good side of all this shit, man, it's all good. I'm gonna get trips. I'm gonna get money. I'm gonna get all that shit. This nigga came in there already with a little bit of with a little bit of bread, just a little bit. So this nigga feel like, oh, I can take Jada with this. What are you doing? What are you be the perfect side? You supposed to be the example for the nah, side niggas. Bro, he young, he getting nurtured, he getting that pussy, he getting he getting everything that's top notch. He, he, he not just getting yeah. pussy, he getting ex- experience. He getting pussy. he getting mental stability. How, how, like, he how old he is? How old he is? He probably like uh, twenty seven. He, he ain't our age. He like a little like bit that. younger. Man, that ain't young there. If, 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 if he over twenty five, I ain't trying to hit. He definitely. You know the game. You know the game. Twenty seven at the time. He is August. I seen him twenty seven years old. Man, look, man. He 27 We see him We hearing about it now He's snitching at 27 I ain't trying to hear that bro Well his album was about to come out So man, I think that might have played a part So man Tell that boy man So wait So basically again To provide context Will gave He said he sat down with Will Had a conversation Like look I'm in love with your wife mm. I haven't and heard I'm, that from Will though I need to hear that from Will To confirm mm. But you know Will ain't gonna snitch man Will a straight G to the code All the way you know what I'm saying? So, so Will ain't gonna say nothing. Even, he gonna high step that shit. But that was even uh, same thing with Jada. They gonna high step that Jada shit. Said they even have no relationship like that. Exactly. They gonna high so, step that shit. So get out of here. So keep that deal, nigga. I need to know the truth. True enough. Know. So okay. So before we go any further, let me give you some context. Play a clip. Jada describes her and Will's relationship. So we ain't even gotta use conjecture no more. Here's what was said. If you marry me, know this: we're gonna be together. We're gonna be under the same roof. You might be on one end of that joker with somebody else. <laughs> and I might always be on one of this joker that. with yeah. somebody else. Yeah. And I, I always be, said, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but we're going to be yeah. in this joker together. Yeah. So when y'all hear that? Hey man, shit. It was confirmed. That's what they gonna do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's what they gonna do. They, that's their that's relationship. What, that's what they signed. And that's up what for. she been living under. You know what I'm saying for the last thirty years. So you know what I'm saying. You ain't gonna stop there. You falling in love for what? You should have knew off the rip, man. Hey, hey, I'm just here to lay down good dick, man. 
But somewhere in that mist, your ass got to screw. You got you was laying down good dick and falling in love. What you doing, dog? I mean, because he was getting dick. He was getting conversation. He was getting all that other shit. I don't want to hear that. And bro. he not dealing. You got to think, though. They really pretty much, for the most part, they had a relationship. I don't want to hear that, bro. If she denies the relationship, y'all had no relationship. Hey. Mm. Okay, that's what you talking I, about. I get it. But you out here snitching and telling. and man. Kenny T, your thoughts? You know you done fucked up, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> career's over, nigga. You know you done fucked up, right? Nah, man, he shouldn't have. I think it was a big part. I don't know who his, uh, his marketing firm is. I, I think that was a big part of his Roll up. album coming out. Because, you know, he ain't dropped shit in a long time. That's he a was, fact. You know what I'm saying? He was out the picture for forever. And then he come out of nowhere, out the blue, with this shit. And then he dropped an album, like, what, three days later, four days later, something like that? Something like that. Mm-hmm. And his album is dope. I ain't gonna lie, his album dope, but... I ain't listen to the trash, man. When you a snitch, man, I ain't listen to none of your music. Yeah, but in the same sense, uh, he might have got the wrong picture, but I don't think he should have came out with it like that. He should have okay. broadcast to the world. He should have. And I like R&B, man. I like that shit to the fullest. If any nigga know me, I, I listen to R&B like a motherfucker. But if you a snitch, man, you can't go nowhere and take that ever. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, Jaden Wills, on Jaden Wills' side, a lot of people frown on Jaden Wills' relationship and shit. I don't, I don't disagree with it at all. At all. They're no. open in their relationship. They're open with their kids. They let them do what they want to do. Mm-hmm. They they try to, you know, guide them in the right direction or what direction they feel is right for them. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, u- the ultimate picture is everybody's their own being, you know. Mm. Not everybody's going to move the same way you do. You're not going to mm-hmm. move the same way your parents do. You know, you just learn along the way. So, I don't disagree with what Jada and Will got going on. Shoot a lot of y'all in relationships and, you know what I'm saying, yo, man, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I can never, I can never live with a man that's got another woman in my house. Well, that nigga ain't got a woman in your house. He at her house now. <laughs> and it might be your friend. <laughs> and Jesus you know Christ. it, but you're gonna accept him back. But yeah. we ain't gonna talk about that. That's real rap. So my like when I first seen it, man, my first thoughts was, damn, why is he coming out snitching like that? Because again, people don't understand the the side dude role was the greatest role in the world. All you got to do is come through the drop dick off and go home. My you nigga, feel me? You like, ain't got it's to. It's like you pulling up from 30 with the headband on <laughs> and your eyes is closed and you hitting every shot. Right. Like you ain't got to deal with the yeah. attitude. You ain't got to deal with the mood swings of women. You ain't got to deal Finance. with the unstable, you know. Uh, nigga, you uh, ain't got to get no conversation. You just there to, to unload dick <laughs> and dip, fam. And head to the house. You know what I'm saying? So for you to fuck up that type of arrangement. How, how do you fall in love much. with that? And I'm I'm pretty sure because Jada is older, so you know older women. Mm. Everybody at this table and dealt with older women. You know older women is gonna keep it all the way G. This is what I'm willing to tolerate. This is what I'm gonna do. Can you handle it? Yes or no? He Type was, of situation. He was young and she put that thing on and him. That's what happened. Jada and know when, what she doing. And when he fell in love, dang, dang. she left that nigga hanging. Mm-hmm. Damn, that nigga was what maybe 2021, 20, and he found Jada, and Jada said, "Hey, this thing powerful. You want to deal with it?" <laughs> But, but for you to be it. telling at 27, bro, like, I don't respect that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think it's publicity. I don't you know, respect for marketing But still, you don't do that, bro. You don't, you don't extort somebody. Well, not even extort. I don't even know what you say about that shit. Like, you don't down somebody to try to, you know what I'm saying, get your name popping and all that. Like, you don't do that puss-ass shit, bro. Plus, you with Will and Jada, man. They can make moves for you, nigga. Fuck you doing? You come, you go to that road? You need to fire your whole team. As soon as dad had told me that, I said, fuck y'all. He had to tell his story. Man, you fuck know? that. <laughs> okay, now also, another thought I had, which is what I expressed on Twitter, I caught a lot of heat for, but it is how I feel. Jada is, I think, in her late 40s, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. When he first moved in with them, he was like 22, mm-hmm. 21. And he had known public record mental issues. She took him in. Under a mentorship type of role And then Start fucking him So What I said on Twitter was I was like okay If this was Will In that type of situation And he took in a 21, 22 year old girl As a quote unquote mentor And start fucking her And then when she lost her mind He just Kicked out the crib And denied it all ever happened He'd be looked at as a monster A monster boy. Is that right or wrong I mean look man It's the it's society just, We just play in well, man I mean it wasn't August, August I was in Going blind at one time She fixed his eyesight So I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think she made up for it You know what kind of grip You gotta have To bring a nigga vision From 
from 1620 to 2020. She made the blind to see. Nah, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's, you know what I'm saying? But, but the, really goalpost, the goalposts really did move whenever. Right. But I mean, we looked at, I mean, that's what everything. You can't, yeah. you can't, grade, it, you can't grade male and female the same way. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? You that, can't. That grade scale it, is as, totally as hard as you want to, bro. you can't. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I just don't think it's fair. It ain't because fair. Because again, fair. again <laughs> if it was Will, it would. that hey. energy would have been tough. Because with Jada, it was a bunch of jokes. It was, hey. okay, ah, oh, the pussy whipped him. He didn't know what to do. Yada, yada, yada. But if it was Will, it wouldn't have been no jokes. Hey. Oh, he trying to it, control right. her. Right. He manipulated he her. He used her. her mental health against her. Came in. Yep. Hey, did it this. It ain't fair. It ain't fair. It's life fair. If like, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's it's life fair though. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, it ain't. So you know what rules we under, man. You know how it go, bro. If he'd have did that, he'd have been a stu- a super monster. He'd have lost a lot of fans. All that shit. She do that shit. She gaining Crazy. all the ratchet fans. She, now she got ratchet women wanting to do that. Yeah, that ain't gonna work for y'all. You ain't got no money. Right. Calm down out here. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's just the double edged sword we living on, baby. What side of the street you on? Mm. And that's how I'm gonna always look at it. But for you to go snip back to this snip, I don't mm, talk that's about my snip whole thing, no man. It's just it's certain things, man. Again, it be a lot of dudes do that though, and it may not be on that scale, but just a lot of dudes don't know how to gracefully accept vagina and be quiet. Why is that? Why do y'all feel like dudes get certain vagina and just feel like they gotta run and tell the world? Why you move like that, Otis? <laughs> Damn. Ooh, whoa, nigga. I'm gonna do, do my man like that. Strike one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I got you later, nigga. I got you later, nigga. Oh, man, my dog said you be falling in love, and she said it was a one night stand. Damn. She, man. You better ask about that. Me. You don't know my name. You better ask about me. That's the thing. Keep bro. it on it. It's like, fam, just take the just take the ass and keep it pushing, bro. bro if you were in a perfect bro, situation, bro, why you was, mess that up? You, you was supposed to you was supposed to pound that out till Will couldn't fit no more. That's what you was supposed to do. <laughs> That's what you was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? It really could fit. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You was supposed to break yourself off in a, that way. Every time you was time for you to get out, you had to pry yourself loose, nigga. What you was doing, man? <laughs> what you was doing? You up in there trying to feed her grapes. Listening to her talk intimate, she trying to have sex. You like, nah, I don't want to do it today. You can tell he the type of nigga like that. Nah, baby, I just want, I just want to look at you. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Will, <laughs> Will, <laughs> call him Will like Uncle Phil. Will, Damn. my man said, here. my man said, if I die today, <laughs> I'm good with it. Because I know what true love and giving all myself to somebody feels like. He that's said this about somebody else. That's delusional. That's deep. That's, 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 that's delusional. I mean, that's, that's that boy hard to is delusional. That's, that's deep but I get it, and it, it probably was deep. But at the same time, she still wasn't a hundred percent available to you. So at all, your perception is not what it really is. Come I mean, on, that's just that's just how he felt, though. I mean, I mean, he can, I I mean he, if he felt that way, that's that's how he felt. From her you know end, you but, can guarantee she but give like 100%. she said, she don't we, feel that way. We had nothing going on. I don't know what y'all talking about? She did. Yeah, she, she came out and denied pussy, everything. Nigga. That's crazy, nigga. She ain't elaborated. I don't know what you talking about, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> and then, and she on, said who? Sam, August who? who? And then on top of that, she got a uh, Red Table Talk coming. Mm-hmm. She has a show on Facebook called Red Table Talk she, she where she discusses certain things. Table. She's bringing herself to the table to discuss certain things because she says she feels like, you know, hurt was administered and we're going to have to break this down and unpack everything. She gonna come out there I can't say, wait to see that. She's going to come out there and say, I didn't have plenty of dudes come in my house. You know what I'm saying? She's going to keep Ain't it all the way above. Ain't like him. At all. <laughs> That's a fact. At all. You fucking up for the real side nigga, man. The side niggas that lost like 20 points this year. Easy. Man. <laughs> Easy. 20, 2020 ain't looking good for the side niggas, man. And the thing is, we always say, you know, male side pieces is better than women's side pieces because male side pieces going to hold it down. We're exactly. not trying to mess up a perfect Listen, relationship. Nigga, fucking it up for the side You're niggas. Throwing the whole game I feel off. sorry for all the side niggas out there, man. Hey, hey, y'all got to go back to the drawing board. Now, y'all got to kick that nigga off. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga hey. off. Okay, so here's a question Do y'all feel like Jada Pinkett being so much his elder, do y'all feel like she holds any. Fault in how this whole no, thing no, played no, out. No, 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 no. Once your motherfucking ass reach adulthood, man, you know what's right and wrong. You know everything got this game, man. You know what I'm saying? You may not be as seasoned and all that shit, but you pick that shit up, especially when you're dealing with somebody older. You pick that shit up quick. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. I don't mean to cut you off. What do you consider adulthood? Adulthood? Me? Yes. I'm going goddamn me 20 years old. You know what's up. 20 years old, you, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with, I'm talking, I'm not talking as far as you being seasoned. I ain't talking about that. 
I'm talking dealing with women like, all right, I'm a side nigga and all that. You didn't been a side nigga before going through high school, middle school. You didn't been a side nigga. You know what I'm saying? You can graduate. You met a chick. She say she got a boyfriend. You side nigga. You a side nigga. So you know how to play the role. So as soon as your ass touch 20, man, you know what it is. All right, I'm a side nigga here. I'm a side nigga here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to play my game how I need to play it. And for your ass to disrespect the game after you 20 years old, <laughs> you's a snitch, man. I don't. You's I don't. a snitch. I think adulthood, I don't. Damn, I think you honestly you reach adulthood once you really once you get into college, like when you're 18, 19 years old, that's adulthood. Now, mm-hmm. whether you're wet, ready for it or not, that's a whole other subject. Yeah, but you reach it because you can be a tried as an adult, so you still got to move in a different way than you that you move when that's you're a teenager I say it's and a child. You know what I'm saying? saying? Whether you're ready for it or not, that's you know that doesn't matter with the government. You know but see, whatever, that's whatever what I'm saying. Not, not not to not to cut you off. That's what I'm saying. though. there is a legal adulthood mm-hmm. and there's a realistic. Okay, people, so motherfuckers that done been adults for a while. We know at 18 you are not an adult. So in you reality, re- realistic adulthood. Realistic age. adulthood. 20. What's the age? Uh, I'm going 20. I'm going 20, man. I'm going right at 20, man. Because you didn't been out your mama house. Well, you should be out your mother, your mama house or, or making your way. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're not, you out and active. You get what I'm saying? Like you're not right. at the crib under like real rules. You like, hey, I'm out here. I'm gonna, you know I'm I'm gonna say 19. Mm. See, he's saying 19. I'm you, saying you get, 20. You get a year to spend your time in college. A year in college is a whole. That's a whole lot of shit. That 19. You get at 19, you at a year 19. out of. Uh, most get people a year, a year out of high school. You got to learn your shit from 19 years old. Whether you in, in the house with your parents or you at college, you on your own. Or if you on these streets, it and don't that, matter. And that year, you got to understand. Hey, this is how shit start moving. This this is what it is. And exactly. Then, at 19 years old. 19, hey, exactly. man. Because you could do a lot. You can do a lot of shit at 19. You can drink when you're 19 when you're not supposed to. I know a lot of us can drink when we're 19. <laughs> you know, already you don't. Had, you didn't have sex when you was before 18. Come on, to be honest, man. Come on, man. A lot of us. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? You didn't, Come on, man. You didn't dealt with to having to, having on to this, be on your own. I'm still a virgin. You know, I, I can't. You can only give so much. Some people so much leeway. Exactly. Exactly. To them being ready to be an adult, because in the military, shit. By the time you you seventeen, you holding a gun, you right. ready to shoot somebody. Exactly. So you you crying about some puss sad relationship. I ain't trying to hit that, bro. You, you didn't train in some other way to to hit that. You know, defend yourself. So I I think as long as once you get a year under under your belt where you're alone or you didn't experience, you know, I said alone already, but drinking and the partying stage and relationship wise, you, you got to understand. You got to learn on the quick. You got to exactly. learn fast. Exactly. Mm. And when you become seasoned, for me, when you become seasoned, it's when you goddamn out here by you. You ain't under your your mama and daddy reign. You know what I'm saying? So some people become seasoned at 16, 17. It just depends on what your situation is. So as soon as you out here and you a year under under your mom and dad or under some guardian type shit and you got to take care of everything, my nigga, you seasoned, man. You I mean, you still gonna make mistakes. You making mistakes. You gonna make you gonna make. But every mistake mistakes. is a but lesson in it. And if you're not picking up them lessons, who is that on? That's on you, right? Yeah. If you can't deal with them lessons, who is that on? That's on you, right? You be going crazy think? for nothing. I would say I would say about twenty one. Mm. That's mm-hmm. roughly. Mm-hmm. Rough. I mean, I get you. You out the house stuff like that. But twenty one, you're able to. That's when you can legally do a lot of stuff. Um, I mean, technically, you should eighteen. Like what? Buy cigarettes? Eighteen and vote. You can yeah, buy cigarettes, buy liquor. You know what I'm saying? They just changed check the cigarettes. In the, check in the it. hotels. Like, you can't even check in the ho- how, certain how many, hotels how, at 18. How many of y'all was in a hotel before the age of 21? I was. Drinking yeah, before the But see, the, but you can only go to certain hotels. You can go to, go like, motels. Smoking you can really go to they, hotels. You still in a place by yourself with another female. You exactly. was in a room. I get it. Exactly. You was doing all as that before the age of 21. So you didn't try, got that try, experience. Trying to wine and dine and get them draws. Mental state as far as, like, what you do on the daily, responsibilities, like that really don't kick in too much to you twenty one. Now mm. a lot of people are working at sixteen, seventeen, but like twenty one, that's when you're trying to get an apartment or you with a roommate or you know. Okay, what I'm saying? I was like, trying to get an apartment like at eighteen. You, it you just figure, didn't work. You figuring yourself out then. But um, yeah, I, y'all boys is going high. I I don't think people have a realistic grasp on life as far as adulthood until they about twenty three. Nah, bro. because at the end I'm of the realistic. day, we got like honest to God's truth, like all that legally buy drink alcohol. I, I don't equate. Age and official legal tender as being adulthood. Yeah, I base it on experience. Exactly. And when you eighteen, and when you go to college, you are still a kid because yeah. college is a bubble. So that a shit is not real life. College. A lot of people don't go to college. If, if, if or you in the military or you if if you under some do that. kind a lot of structure, stay at the crib. They stay. You know what I'm saying? They get out in these streets. But or, or a lot of motherfuckers stay at their parents' crib. Yeah. Most people when they eighteen stay at their parents' crib. So you are again. You are living in an unrealistic bubble. When you get out in the world and you on your own and you paying them, them bills is in your name, 
and you got to get up and go to work every day, and you got to take care of a fan every day, you got to pay your car note, cable, rent, and all that. That's when you're a dope. A lot of people doing that at 20. Looking at this whole situation, yeah. understanding Will and Jada's relationship, would y'all ever embark in a relationship like that? No. Nah, I can't do it. Why or why not? I can't think of another man digging it. in my wife's guts. Nigga. Every night. Can you imagine? Dog, and I'm in the just same imagine house. You in the same house, nigga. You ain't got nothing going on that night. Nothing. You in there fries here, nigga. I'm, hard, I'm on hall. Hey, you on <laughs> another nigga hey, in the other room. Got, all, of a you, all of a sudden, you hear a little squeaky noise. <laughs> And then you hear dum, 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 dum. Like bro I'm gonna go get my pistol instantly <laughs> that, that I'm, I'm not, I'm not the type it, to bro. share I'm not the I type to share it, I understand bro. where they're coming from But I'm yeah, not nah. the type to share But see look Now let me provide some context Because it's rumored That Will Has a whole little side chick of his own He mm-hmm. done went on cruises with a chick He still go on trips with his first baby mama And mm-hmm. that's cool But I, I couldn't do that myself I mean if I'm married hey. to you it's It's gotta be like exactly. you, you the one I, I've got to be sleeping with you, and that's it. I, right. I, don't want, I wouldn't want that shit happening to me. You know, exactly, what I'm saying? Exactly. I couldn't deal with <laughs> another no. man deep in. You know, no. you know what I'm saying another man. She didn't gave her, gave him the guac guac six thousand. <laughs> he's slapping his meat all, all on her face. All on her face. When I wake up in the morning, I think it's sleet on the eyes. It's just. <laughs> oh my god! Dog. And they sleep. Hold on. It's Hold on. And then, then on, and then back door. She tried to kiss you the next Ooh, day. Ooh, in the mouth. Oh, hell, hell no. Nah. I can't even drink out the we, same coffee cup we, as you no more. We, we are finished. <laughs> we can't do nothing. Ooh, I sit at the dinner table. He sit at the dinner table with us. Oh, oh man. Oh no, man. Which oh. is what makes it so crazy is because he said he sat down with Will, had the conversation with him, and he said he agreed to let him do that. Will must have some baddies on his. That's what I was about to Will say. Will probably said, Bro. "Hey, thank you." That's what I was about to say. Do you know how fed up with your wife you got to be? To sit down with a nigga and say, yeah, bro, go ahead, bro. No, 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 no. It's either fed up or you know how deep and bad that roster look. You know what I'm saying? Fam, it's Will Smith. You know, know how you know, deep hey, the roster the, is. The nigga. I don't know. You nigga. know how deep. And you know nigga. the caliber. Hey, it, it, it's almost, I, I, it, 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 it know, probably bro. looked like that black book he gave to Carson. <laughs> <laughs> the one that was glowing. No, just, <laughs> hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? He go, he go reach in that bitch with his eyes know. closed. Bro, Will, Will probably already knew off the jump. He probably was like, oh, like, you, ain't on, about, you ain't about to have her. Bro, go ahead and try. Bro, being a multimillionaire, knowing you have access to so many women, and you date somebody who's willing, who's open to let you do what you want to do, but the agreement is she can still do what she want to do. I'm not saying I would do it, but I don't know. You gotta. I mean, mm-hmm. the millionaires, the people with money, they do. They that that's their lifestyle. Period. Well, we, a lot of people that have money, that's what they do all the no, time. We bro. know you, Otis. Though you you would have a threesome. Yeah, yeah. With another dude in with the room. Another dude in the room. <laughs> Jerome. Like, Jerome, Jerome from the gym. From the gym. Chill. <laughs> Talking about you go first, big dog. Shit. <laughs> Shit like that. Look at him. Oh, my bad. Let me go first real quick. Hold on, man. Hold on. I ain't, no, no. I ain't gonna let y'all do my man like we that. We not doing that. But just I mean, I don't know. Like the whole idea of an open relationship to me is just ridiculous. I feel like if we if, get y'all bitches back. <laughs> if if I done got to the point to where I'm like, man, you know what? Just take my wife and do what you want to do with her, fam. I'm just getting divorced, bro. Like, I don't want to be involved in that type of nah, stuff. I'd rather gotta, be single. You got to realize, like, that's their relationship. True, you know what but. That's their relationship. It may not be fair true. Up. True, but look at how this news clipping makes him look. Huh? You, you are embarrassing me in public. Well, yeah. That's well, what it boils down. Fuck but, the relationship. But, but, you making but you me look realize, bad. It ain't her fault. It ain't like she the one said something. But, but, the but side she, nigga said something. Right, but she embarked on the situation with him. So for me to leave, uh, no. for me to leave that open, like you can All embark right, so, on a situation so, with him, but just leave me so, out of it. So let's say, let, let's say uh, one of his side chicks came out and said some shit. He ain't say a word. Thank you, cause we're not moving sloppy. They signing NDAs, <laughs> baby. <laughs> she didn't make him sign one. About, Will, Will ain't moving sloppy like I that. I don't know about that, bro. I, NDA. I, I think their relationship spawned off of okay, we vibe on a certain level. I want to have. I could. I, I could see myself having kids with you. Let's yeah. have these kids. And you move the same way I want to move. I want to. I want to have sex with you. I want to have a wife. You know right. what I'm saying? I want to build a family, but, but I also, also still want to go ahead. I yeah. also still want to sleep with other people because yeah. I get tired. I don't want to sleep with the same person for 12 years of my life. Yeah, thank you, man. I still want to enjoy the, the lifestyle of exactly. being free sometimes. Man, I mean, Will Smith. And I can't. About, and, and honestly, from this whole situation, Will Smith ain't got really a lot of heat. Really, exactly. If you look at it, Will ain't got he that ain't much. A lot of heat. Jada got all the heat. Yeah, true. 
Will just got the jokes, you know, all this. Mm, you know, I know, but I don't want to take the jokes, fam. I don't want niggas looking at <laughs> I know your pride is different, but Will's probably like, hey, yeah, I'm still get mine exactly. off. Because he still got his. Hands. If I got if I got ten bad ones, that's just as bad as Jada. No, 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 no. We talking Will. That nigga, that nigga roster probably got. Bought, that nigga Will probably deep. got about, about two hundred. But what? But the city that's he touched saying. down, he got like in three in it. Oh, that's what I'm saying. So if you if Jada, so Jada would just be what you said. Uh, you just a uh, uh, a casual. What you call it? Uh, collateral damage. Yeah. But, they been, but so they that's been, his wife. That's they, his wife. They've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So they they really Will ain't. So he ain't tripping. You know, I, I'm pretty life. sure he didn't already brace for some shit like that. He thought it was gonna happen earlier. But I, if you know Will personality, he lived life on the edge. Exactly. For sure. That's, exactly. that's how he that's is. He, he, do he try, jump out the plane. He trying to. He gonna give you a motivational speech and say, "Live your life." Exactly. So and that's you know what, what he saying? does. Really, that's what he does. I'm gonna live my life. Live my life. And you gonna live yours. So for him, he ain't tripping. He but ain't I'm, tripping at all. Well, I mean, he ain't got no room to trip because when he met Jada, she was a hoe. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. The thing is, that's the part that a lot of people are not willing to talk about, man. Like Jada, Jada done came out and said it herself. When I met Will, I was out here being quote unquote promiscuous. She I was out here on drugs, out of my mind, and he came in and saved me. Mm-hmm. So that's the dynamic Of their relationship Jada ain't never been A one nigga Type that's of a, woman That's a perfect relationship Let's then. just call a spade a spade So their relationship Perfect so, so Two hoes coming together and She's still hey. a She's still a And he's, he's a hoe too huh? I, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see nothing wrong with that I, You know what I'm saying Y'all, They not both saying got their understanding I'm not saying that's what I would do But I don't see nothing wrong They got their understanding I don't together. say it's wrong You can't say it's wrong Hell nah man. This shit been working for him For 30 years <laughs> Like I said before It's niggas out here Sleeping with other women <laughs> True like, come on, man. And they fighting that shit. And so, I ain't trying to hit that, man. Yeah. That nigga snitch, man. <laughs> I'm tired of talking about this snitch, man. <laughs> he took Kashi 6 9 in my eyes. Get <laughs> out of here. Told on all the side niggas out here. I just, uh, side just, niggas got to gotta get a new number out now, man. They got to they gotta throw their old phone away. <laughs> ah, damn. Okay, so as a, as a side dude, give me some side dude etiquette. <sighs> If you like, cause all our, our young listeners be looking for us to for advice and to for guide them listeners. on how they hey. should move around. First of all, if, hey, if hey, a dude hey. is in a side dude position, I how should he be moving? Is she married or not married? For it, the don't matter. Don't matter. it don't matter. For the sleaze it don't balls, matter. Move. For hey. the sleaze balls. Hey. For the sleaze balls, for the real ones, for the young niggas trying to make their way in this game. I got all the rules for you. I got all the fucking answers. God damn me. Get your notebooks ready. You know what I'm saying? This is what your ass do. Number one rule. You never stale, nigga. You never snitch on the situation, nigga. Never. I give a fuck what's going on. I give, nigga, I give a damn what's going on. You never tell, nigga. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Number, the second rule. You know what I'm saying? You keep your head down. You don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. I don't know. I can't let what your eyes see. I don't see nothing. I don't know. No face, no case. No face, no case. You deny all allegations. Deny them all. I don't, I don't know that person. I don't know nothing from That's nowhere. Real Nowhere. That's real rap. Seen who? Nah, I ain't seen her. I don't know her. Take the who? That's how you should have been. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Uh, uh, third rule. You know what I'm saying? You make sure at all costs you protect the other side. Mm. Elaborate. Elaborate at on that. At all costs you protect the other side. They in a relationship. Right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you a side. You got to realize you a side. Nigga. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure you putting this shit together. Nah, baby. Hey, look. He just getting himself together right now. She coming with. She coming at you with all the problems that they having. You got to coach her through this shit, man. It's a fact. You got to coach her through this <laughs> shit. Pass the bat over here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get an amen? Talk that talk. You know what I'm saying? Y'all admit it, but you... No, no, another rule. Another goddamn rule. Which, nigga, why are you coaching her through this shit? When you laying good dick on her? And she start to fall in love, you gotta remind her. Right in that moment when she say, I'm thinking about leaving him, leaving him, nigga, you threaten to leave her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. Straight yeah. up. You Yo. gotta threaten to leave her. Straight up. Cause you can't fuck up their relationship. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Cause as soon as you fuck it up, you're no longer the side, nigga. Mm-mm. Mm. Now you the main. That you know what I'm saying? All the problems. You, you, you done lost all your power. <laughs> all the problems drop on your shoulders, fam. And you that's the lost worst position all your in the world power. To be in. Yep. That's a yeah, fact. And that's the, as long as you live by them rules right there, you gon' and nigga, you gon' nigga, you gon' flourish in the game. Man. You gon' matter of fact, nigga, if you if you that good, she gon' put you on some more puss. Mm. Nigga, if you plan your, if you stick to them rules right there, she gonna put you on some more pussy. You know what I'm saying? Cause you the side nigga. That boy pardon now. Nah. He pardon. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to that boy's with pardon, that boy. Come on, man. Cause at the end of the day, like as a side dude, your your position 
is uh you know you meant to like keep their relationship together again you got the best position in the world in all the you got to do is show up drop dick off give halfway decent conversation and go home you don't got to deal with no headaches at all no mood swings at no all. none of that you feel me that's all for her man so if she talk about leaving him that should be a red flag whoa <laughs> what are you doing whoa. what are you doing no, 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 no. You need to go make that right. That's not Be- what we agreed to. Hell no, because again, as dope as she may seem in moderation, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when you get her 24 7, that tune is going to change all the way around. And, and what you got to think about is the shit that she telling you, she only telling her side. Mm-hmm. She's not telling the other side. That's of a fact. What she's doing. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So you got to look at that shit from outside that shit and be like, all right, so what is he doing? What can he come back this shit with? You know what I'm saying? And if the nigga, if you're thinking like that, you never go wrong. <laughs> That's true. You never go wrong, boy. That's Follow true. your gut. Don't ever fall in love when you a side nigga. That's true. You go get a chick that you ain't no side nigga to. Matter of fact, you need to be the voice of reason. Exactly. Nigga. If you feel her falling in love, you need to be, oh, whoa, whoa, baby. What, what are know. you doing? You, you know you didn't fucked up, right? Straight up. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking up, baby. You fucking up, baby. You and need to go back hey, to him. When she okay. start falling in love, you stop talking to her. Immediately. For like you a drop month. That off. You, you stop, you nigga. I'm talking nigga. Don't even get no dry conversation. As soon as you feel her falling in love, nigga, just go to your next. Because you got to realize you a side nigga. So you obviously you got more pieces. You should have more pieces. True. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you just go start fucking with them other pieces until she get her mind right. You hit her ass up after a month. Hey, what's up, stranger? She'll know then. She'll know her goddamn place then. Motherfucker, hey, this, you, this is an arrangement. Goddamn me. But if your ass stick around and you trying to fall in love and shit, your ass is finished. And that's where you messed up at. Because, again, when you decide, dude, you never, ever in life gal that chick. Because never. if she cheated on him for she you. She gonna treat on you. Snitch. Preach. Snitch. All day, every day. Preach. It's gonna even be worse. Exactly. And then on top of that, you become collateral damage now. You know why? Because she didn't get time to grieve by her last relationship when you didn't took her motherfucking ass in. Now, everything is amped up to a goddamn 20 when you do something wrong. Mm. And you got to realize on that back end, when she was fucking you and you was the side nigga, you got to realize she doing that to you right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you better realize as soon as you yeah. step into the boyfriend role, she got another side nigga on the side, boy. Mm. The minute you slip up, God that damn. boy waiting in the wings. She fucking him hard. Mm. Mm. Nigga. Mm. And telling him mm. y'all problems mm. Mm. and her previous Every problems. Cycle. That's the thing. Come on, man. Come on, man. The, the, man. the side niggas didn't lost 20 points this year, man. I mean, it's, I mean, it's looking real, real bad. Y'all oh, niggas, man. Man. Jesus Christ, it's looking real bad. And I hate to see, I hate to see grown men losing points out here, man. I'm always, I'm, I'm pro men out here. Always, I be trying to ride for us, but you know there's certain saying? behavior that I just can't ride can, for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come like on. even on Twitter, I try, I tried to use the mental health to try to ride for him, <laughs> but in the back of my mind. <laughs> I was like, fam, if that's me, bro, you got the per- like Jada is rich and she's connected. You all you gotta do is keep smashing that on on to your next promotion or your next elevation, fam. You know what like, I'm saying? Just get to where you're trying to get like to if you don't and then cut it off. no more. You can goddamn be on the TV. You oh, know what I'm saying? You can goddamn me go be a producer somewhere. This the power they got. Man. This the and if Will say if you say Will was cool with it, this is the power this man has. You didn't fucked all that up. Yeah, it's all out now. You, and then on top of that, you didn't fucked yourself up in the game because now everybody looking at you like you a snitch. You gonna tell? That's the thing, boys. You gonna don't tell. understand when you out here running your mouth? Even off of August situation, just dudes in real life. Yep. When you out here running your mouth exactly. about ass that you done got, that's the worst mistake in the world that you can make. Mm-hmm. Fucking yourself off some other ass. I mean, yeah. preach. Preach. You, you fucking yourself out of other ass. You fucking yourself out of positions you could be in. All this shit. You you disconnecting yourself to another level in life you could have been. Like it's so much shit you taking from yourself, yeah, bitch. I think another problem was I bet Jada was the only chick he was talking to. Yeah, well. It was. It That's was. The mm-hmm. if, you, if you a side love. nigga, if you a side nigga, and if you supposed to be like a main to one, like you supposed to have at least three, four more, five. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. That nigga put all his time all, into that shit. All his all eggs his into somebody that don't have any up, eggs invested into in Into somebody that don't have your last name. <laughs> I think he might have fucked up when he moved in. Honestly. I think he fucked That's the only woman he could see the whole time. He was getting ass on No, it ain't the whole time. They, you acting like the nigga was in prison. I'm, I'm pretty sure where they live at, they got some. They got some nice. Have you ever seen Will in Jada Smith house? He was only. They got to take a golf cart to get to the other side. He was only. Okay, with Jada, but bro. when you get when you get off the property, nigga, I'm pretty sure they got some. He ain't getting there. off the property. 
What? Why Take he need to get food. off the property? He got Jada there. He got a chef. Man, you can go. He got a tennis court. He got a bat- he, nigga. When they go to club, when they go to club, guess who with him? He wasn't doing none of that. Oh, this nigga trick. Jay may do some family outings, but yeah, he with Jada the whole time. Fuck that. He with the kids the whole time. Fuck that. It was plenty, it was plenty of pictures with because what he it was needed he needed some mental stability. Mm-hmm. And Jada was there to hold him. And that's why he looked stupid. It was it was plenty of pictures with Jada, him, and the kids. Like you didn't see Will in sight at all. That's plenty, crazy plenty of pictures. When you think about and it. that's why of pictures. he looked fucking stupid now. Cause he out here snitching and they denying mm-hmm. all allegations. Look at this well, picture, man. Hand. The way he got I'm gonna have hand. to post this His on YouTube. Hand. Whenever you got your hand around he gripping it. chick waist like that. He gripping it. Like that tight. To that where mean, you like damn near gripping the ass. Yeah. That nigga, man. The writing is on the wall. That means you done fell way yeah. too hard. Cause it's if you playing your position the way you supposed to be, we ain't taking no pictures together ever. Yo, we gonna be in the spot. I'm gonna see you. Get you the head nod. Head acknowledge nod. you. Keep it pushing. Jada I'll got see that, you later. That gripper, gripper. That's what I'm saying. Do you know what kind of grip you gotta have? Jada got that guac guac I'm 24. Tell you, boy. 27 Fuck with that yeah. A. Side she look like she keep it real points, with it A. She got that 19. Come here. Come here. <laughs> now let's, let's go get it done right now. Side niggas lost 20 points this and year. She man. probably said that shit in front of Will. Hey, let's go. Hmm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't no, put you past. said that shit in front of me. I'm about to go beat the hell out of you. Hey, I'm about to go I'm put about, this shit I'm about, down. I'm about, to pistol whip every, I'm about to pistol whip everybody in eyes. Man. They're doing what she want to do. <laughs> I'm saying it's tough sledding out here, man. So, in, in summary, man, side dudes, be quiet, bro. Don't Shut fuck your up. fucking mouth. Be quiet. Mouth. Understand the, the, the advantageous position. That you were in He ain't had to do nothing Literally Nothing I'm tired of talking about this nigga <laughs> She had man. money That's... Next time He had approval <laughs> He had a place to stay mm. Come on man You had in house it... Perfect in house well, I say oh, it's tough no. sled man Man next ain't time no. man Next time Man I'm tired of this uh,